welcome to my YouTube channel, John's Box. And today, in the series, The Beauty of Wiltshire, here we have the county, uh, we're going to look at the village of Ramsbury. This is part 8 of 10. Where is Ramsbury? Ramsbury is in the northeast part of the county, 12 miles south of Swindon, a couple of miles, 5 or 6 miles from east of Marlborough. Um, it lies on along the uh, Kennet and Avon Canal. It really is a beautiful village. Uh, I've actually cycled through it a number of times and it's famous for its tree. Um, the original tree uh, was cut down, died rather, <clears throat> And replaced. Um, Ramsbury's also provided more than I think two Archbishops of Canterbury. It's um, subdiocese of Salisbury. Correct me if I'm not wrong. Uh, so it has a, a deep history. Not to mention the fact uh, that there's Ramsbury Manor. I'm not going to say too much, uh, I'm not going to provide too much any spoilers because it's all in the video. We're going to learn about its history, about its uh, community life, about the tree and one or two other things which uh, might surprise you. So sit back and relax and enjoy what you see. The village and civil parish in the Kennet Valley near the Berkshire boundary. The nearest towns are Hungerford to the east and Marlborough to the west. The much larger town of Swindon is about 12 miles to the north. The civil parish includes the hamlet of Axford, west of Ramsbury, and three smaller hamlets, namely Newtown and Knighton and Whittenditch, both to the east. The 2011 census recorded a parish population of almost 2,000. The Doomsday Book of 1086 recorded a larger settlement of 156 households at Ramesbury, Littercut Roman villages in the parish. The earliest written history of Ramsbury can be traced from the Saxon era, when the bishopric of Ramsbury was created in 909 AD. Between 1942 and 1946, during World War II, there was a Royal Air Force airfield known as RAF Ramsbury on a ridge of high ground to the south of the village. Is Ramsbury traditionally held two annual fairs, a livestock fair in the spring and a hiring fair or mop fair at Michaelmas. Nearby Marlborough's tradition of holding one mop each side of Michaelmas was originally a means to accommodate the then more prestigious Ramsbury mop. By the 19th century both fairs had become cattle fairs. The spring cattle fair ceased in 1939. An annual carnival was instituted to replace the fairs and survived until the 1990s, but has in turn been replaced by a biennial street fair which sees the high street closed from the square to the memorial. The Provident Union Investment Society was founded in Ramsbury in 1846, becoming the Ramsbury Building Society in 1928. It was headquartered in the square until 1982 and took as its logo the ancient witch elm which grew immediately opposite. Subsequent mergers saw the building society being subsumed into various building societies over the subsequent years. The Church of England Parish Church of the Holy Cross was begun in the 13th century, possibly on the site of the former 11th century Cathedral of the Diocese of Ramsbury, and enlarged later that century or in the early 14th. In the 15th century, the chancel was lengthened to re and re-roofed. In 1891-2, the aisles were rebuilt and the south porch rebuilt too. 
The building is of flint and limestone dressings, and the chancel is finished in rough cast. The west tower is described as massive and has substantial corner buttresses. Until the 1790s, when it became an independent ecclesiastical parish, Baden was the chapelry of Ramsbury Parish. A chapel of ease dedicated to St. Michael was built in 1856 at Axford and continues in use. Presbyterians, Congregationalists, Primitive Methodists and Wesleyan Methodists met at Ramsbury and Axford. The last to close was the Methodist Church in the late 2010s. The parish has two Grade 1 listed buildings in addition to the Holy Cross Church. Ramsbury Manor was built in 1680s and it stands in the parklands to the west of the village on the north bank of the Kennet, which has been dammed to form a lake. At the park's main entrance are two Grade 2 listed gates and lodges. Also Grade 1 listed is Axford Farmhouse built in the 17th century and altered in the 19th with an attached 13th century chapel. Ramsbury has an elected parish council and also falls within the area of the Wiltshire Council Unitary Authority, which is responsible for all of the most significant local government services. Previously, the parish was part of the Ramsbury Rural District from 1894 until 1934, Marlborough and Ramsbury the Rural District until 1974, and Kennet District until the creation of the Unitary Authority in 2009. The Member of Parliament is Conservative Danny Kruger, elected in December 2019. <music> Ramsbury was known for its tree, a large witch elm which stood in the square at the heart of the village. The tree was first mentioned in a report in 1751, by which time it must have already been well established. In its prime, its spread was said to have reached and touched the buildings on all sides of the square. Photographs from the early 20th century showed a tree in apparently fine health, although perhaps reduced from its former size. But by the 1920s, it was in decline and died in 1983, aged about 230 years. Wish I could live that long. Thank you. are known as Ramsbury Bulldogs, contrasting with the neighbouring villages of Oldbourne, where the locals are known as Dabchicks. The village's notable residents have included Sir Francis Burday, 1770-1844, a radical Whig politician, and his daughter Angela Burday Coots. In 1837, Angela became the richest woman in England when she inherited her grandfather's fortune. Over several years, she gave most of this money away to good causes, nearly £3 million by the time she died in 1906. Both lived in Ramsbury Manor. Other owners of the manor include William Root from 1958, industrious and motor manufacturer, and Harry Hyams from 1964 until his death in 2015, who was a property developer. Stefan Persson, the owner of H&M, has a main residence on the outskirts of Ramsbury. He also owns the Ramsbury Microbrewery, which brews Ramsbury Gold bottled beer, among others. Composer David Fanshaw lived near Ramsbury until his death in July 2010. There are two pubs situated in Ramsbury. The Bell on the Square and the Crown and Anchor on the corner of Crowwood Lane in Oxford Street, as well as the Royal British Legion's branch on the High Street. In addition to the Ramsbury Brewery Distillery and Smokehouse, several other notable local food and drink producers are based in the village. The Ramsbury Tea Company in particular has won several national awards. There are two 
The village has a primary school, which has gained impressive achievements and has been graded outstanding by Ofsted. The school is part of the government English hubs, in which teachers promote a love of reading and help schools promote teaching in phonics and early language. Other awards include Music Teacher of the Year in 2021 and School Games Platinum Awards. Well, well, well. There are several sports clubs in the village, including football, cricket, bowls, to name but a few. Ramsbury Recreation Centre provides fitness facilities, grass and synthetic turf pitches, and tennis courts. So there you have it. Um, I forgot to put up Ramsbury, actually. Uh, the word Ramsbury. I hope you've enjoyed all that. Uh, don't forget to do the usual YouTube stuff, uh, particularly if you're from the Ramsbury area. Uh, maybe there are one or two things there which aren't quite right. So that's what the whole thing is about. Uh, the best content, of course, is uh, what you comment about, as, as, I, as I always say. Right. Um, and don't forget to do all the usual YouTube stuff. In the next part, part 9 of 10, which will be coming up, I hope, before the end of the year, we're going to look at the even larger village of Tisbury. Did I mention how many people, Ramsbury, how many people live in Ramsbury? About 2,000. Tisbury's in the next part. Hopefully we'll do that before the end of the year. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and see you again soon in another one of my videos on John's box. Bye for now. <laughs>